find your lack of faith disturbing. What up, y'all? It is Devin with Up TV, and 15,000 scientists have signed a letter to humanity warning us that we need to change our ways as soon as possible. Um, they're basically saying it, it's not the last uh, chance that we have to change things, but we are heading towards that moment to where um, things will be irreversible. Now, uh, they're saying it's so bad that up to 75% of species on Earth can be eliminated through a mass extinction event. Now, 1,500 scientists signed a letter that was a warning to humanity uh, 25 years ago. A new letter uh, that has arisen is signed by 15,000 scientists. And they say the reason for the tenfold increase is that things have gotten much, much worse. Now, we know what it is if you're spiritual, if you're into God, if you're into the Bible, if you love Jesus you know what, who the savior is you know what's really going on out here and you know what climate change really is and it's the wrath of god you know what i'm saying uh it is time that people start waking up and realizing that hey if you don't want to take it from from us because you don't believe in god and you don't believe in bible then maybe the world scientists can convince you the same thing the only difference is, is they're not going to put you on spiritual game. I'm going to put you on spiritual game all day because that's what's truly going to save your soul. They don't care if you're saved or not. Let's keep it real. They don't give a damn about you or me or anybody else, but they own selves and they own families. And that's why whenever you see a doomsday movie, who are, who's the government and the scientists saving? They're saving themselves and their families. They don't care about the rest of us. They leave us to fend for ourselves. Okay. Now, the truth of the fact of the matter is, is, is the Lord is coming back. Okay. I don't care what nobody says. This is what I know to be true. The Lord is coming back. And when the Lord comes back, it's going down. But before he even gets here, it's going to go down. You know what I'm saying? So we need to start preparing right now. Um, spiritually, we need to start preparing, uh, by storing and stocking up food. You know what I'm saying? And I know what a lot of people think, what is the point of doing all of that if, um, you know, the end is coming anyways? Well, understand that Revelations is a warning, okay? And it's a warning for you to start to prepare. So that way, when those times do come, you're prepared for it. When you can't buy, sell, or trade without the mark of the beast, if you got food, then you shouldn't be worried about, I need to go get the mark of the beast because you were wise and you stocked up your food now because you heeded that warning now. Okay, so it's gonna go down, believe that. And if you don't believe it for me, see the scientists, are, are, they're telling you. They're telling you right now. Okay, so, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for more news and information about end time events. This is Devin with Up TV. I love you, family, and I'll holla at y'all later. Peace. I'm Adrian Gobriel. A warning has been issued by 15,000 scientists from 184 different countries. The warning was issued yesterday in a report. We need to change the way we live to save our world. We're currently following a destructive path which could mean irreversible damage. Though today, many of us woke up, went about our daily lives the same way we always do. From a decline in freshwater supply to ocean dead zones, forest decimation to population growth, scientists who worked on the article say we're on the course for a mass extinction event. We could lose 50 to 75% of the species on this planet this century. And if that happens, scientists say we will not be able to reverse the damage. It will be too late. On a micro level, here at home, we've seen unprecedented water levels in Lake Ontario. Climate experts believe we'll start to see the impacts on our own personal health in the near future. We are, we're looking at illness for sure. I mean, as the temperature gets hotter, we're gonna see more ticks come up, you know, that transmit Lyme disease, for example. They're gonna be coming up from the south into the north. So we're gonna see more illness. We're gonna see a lot of heat connected illnesses, especially for older people and kids. Well, the human race by and large has sat idle while our planet has been pushed to the brink. Some psychologists believe 
we are in a state of learned helplessness when governments don't show leadership and the Trump administration pulls out of the Paris Climate Accord, we lose faith that we as a species have the power to tackle this issue. One environmental psychologist has gone so far as to dedicate a website to a list of 40 things which hinder our desire to take collective action against climate change. One of the big ones, of course, that's usually number one is a lack of perceived control. You know, there's not much I can do about it. Even if I change my life completely, there's seven billion other people, and so what's the point of me changing? It goes deeper into the human mind, according to some psychologists. We're simply wired to ignore climate change. Our physiological brain hasn't changed since we were wandering around on the savanna about, you know, the species is about 300,000 years old. During that time, we didn't care what was happening 10 miles away, 10 kilometers away, or five years from now. We cared about today, getting to hunt today, feeding our kids today. And so that this core of our brain, this ancient brain, is still wired to the here and now. Climate change, we're capable, of course, of thinking about it, but it's over there and later. So Gideon Foreman with the David Suzuki Foundation believes if we can get past the mental barriers, simple individual change in habits can have a profound impact. Think of your grandchildren. Think of the life that they're going to have to live. If you care about your kids and your grandchildren, you have to be concerned about climate change. The overall message from those we did speak with today, though, is that hope is not lost. The game is not over. This can still be fixed, though, for that to happen. Attention and action is needed, both here at home and across the globe. I'm Adrian Gobriel for City News. Thank you for watching Up TV. If you like this video and would love to see more, check out these great videos here. And don't forget to subscribe to Up TV and Up TV 2 for even more great videos. <laughs>